Are you ready? Let's go get it done. Let's get it done. Oh! -ho! Buddy Row, Big Daddy Hoffman out here doing his chores tonight. I got some, I got some uh, walnuts out here, and nuts, and I'm gonna put out for the deer. That's what I'm talking about. It's hard to tell what I might find out here in these woods. That's life on the farm at the Hoffman compound. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. It's good to be off of work and be out here on this beautiful day. I mean, you can't get much better than this. It's about 70 degrees outside. Big Daddy ain't sweating at night, is what I'm talking about. Anyway, I do have some things to show you. Um, I got a new little old revolver that you might like. But, what? Oh no, that ain't gonna work. I tell you one thing, I got a bad zombie problem and I'm getting ready to fix this bad boy. Well, let's see. You know, I ain't gonna do it by hand this time. That gummit. There might just be too many of them. All right, zombie, you die. Oh, you want some more? Okay, we'll give you some more. By golly, you take that. Oh. You want a headshot, do you? All right, you got that too. Now that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, put that thing back on safety. That gummy, that just makes me mad. I'm gonna go down here and cut his head off. Or her, or whoever. I'll be right back. I'm gonna drag it right up here. I'm gonna put it right, ah! Ugh. Okay, I got another one back here, guys. I got another one back here. Let me see if I can find something else. Oh, yeah, this will do it. This will do it. I'm going to scalp him. They're not going to mess up my evening, by golly. I'll be right back. Take that, zombie. Take that, zombie. Take that. Uh. Uh. Okay, I got two of them. By gosh. I got two of them bad boys. I got a redhead and I got an old zombie. Hey, it's rough around here, but I can get the job done. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, now, oh, let me put these back here. Two more trophies, I guess. Oh yeah, two more trophies, two more zombies gone. That's what, it, that's what I'm talking about. Back in here. I have to get the blood off of it later. But I got things I got to show you guys. Let's see here. Uh, Smith and Wesson. Smith and Wesson. Wonder what's in this box right here. By golly, we're gonna find out. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go lay this bad boy down and see what we got going on. Hey guys, you know, if it says Smith & Wesson, it's got to be pretty good. Let's see what we got here. Oh my goodness, my goodness. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's unbox her and see what's going on. Would you look at that? Mm -mm -mm. Wood grips. Fiber optic sights, man, seven rounds of fun right there. That's what I'm talking about, single, double action. Guys, this is a Smith & Wesson model 351 PD, 22 Magnum. And the good thing about it, it weighs under 11 ounces. 
This thing is so lightweight. You can just stick it in your pocket. It's a good personal protection pistol, revolver. Oh, I like this thing, man. I'm really liking this. And it's got, like I said, fiber optic sights on the front. Oh, man. It's so light. It's got an aluminum alloy frame and cylinder. Can't beat that. Mm -mm -mm. Exactly 10.8 ounces is what the paperwork says on it. Uh, black matte. Oh, man. And you can't, you cannot beat those fiber optic sights. Man alive, man alive. Look at that. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. But this little guy right here ain't nothing to play with. I mean, 22 Magnum. That's a full metal jacket one. Also, now that's a, that's CCI. Full metal jacket ammo. That's what we'll be shooting right there at our steel targets. This is a good personal protection little revolver right there. That's what I'm talking about. Guys, we got some Remington 22 Win Mag. This is a, just a little bit different in the full metal jacket stuff. It's got a little tip. It's not a hollow point, but I'm sure it expands. Now, that's nothing to play with. That's what I'd carry if I was going to carry it for personal protection. I'm talking, that is nice. You know, a lot of people say, you know, you got to have a real big gun like maybe the 10 millimeter Glock. But, uh, hey, I wouldn't want to get shot with one of these. No, sorry, buddy, bro. I would not want to get shot with one of these 22 Magnums. You can't run 22 long rifle. This is strictly 22 Magnum. So I say we go out and shoot this bad boy and see what we got. Okay. So let's, let's, let's load her up here. Let's see. Like I said, we got seven rounds of fun. And uh, we're going to go do something here. Now that we've got all those zombies taken care of. Well, at least I hope we got them all taken care of. But we'll, we'll certainly find out here shortly. Well, I'm out here in the evening. They're pretty bad about coming out and trying to bite me and stuff, you know. So anyway, we got seven rounds. And we ready to rock and roll. Let's go check this little bad boy out. Look at that. Almost fits in the palm of my hand. That's what I'm talking about. Airlight PD. Model 351, Smith & West. Let's go get us some. Hoorah. Okay, guys. When I bought this little Smith & Wesson, you know, I wasn't really happy with the trigger pull on it. It was a little bit heavy. So I had to put some other springs in it and stuff. Well, that was a mistake so you know I shouldn't shouldn't have messed with it I should have just left it alone because after I after I put the springs in it it would only fire about 75 percent of the time so I went back I took it back to the gun store a uh, gun shop I bought it from and I had the gunsmith put the original original factory springs back in it and uh, which I should have just left alone like I said and now it is perfect. It actually is loosened up since we fired a few rounds out of it. And uh, I'm very, very happy with it. Uh, single action, it would work every time. But again, if you start changing the springs in these guys, you might have a problem. So I wouldn't do it. I just leave good enough alone. Spence and West are supposed to know what they're doing. So let's hope they do. All right, let's go shoot something here. Here we go. We ready to rock and roll. Eyes on, ears on. Okay, let's go for uh, let's go for the gong right now. Ooh, that's right. That's right. Let's just go ahead and pull them off. Oh, boy! It don't take you long to go through seven rounds, does it? Let's just rapid fire this into the gong right there, okay? Well, I'm talking rapid fire, but it ain't going to be really rapid, but here we go. You ready? Let's get it. Not a bad little pattern, actually. All right, let's try one of these little red plates on the world again. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 
Oh, yeah. All right, let's go again here. Come on now. I hit it. Ha <laughs> ha! And it fell. That's what. Hey, that ain't bad. My first time shooting a whirly gig with this bad boy. Hoorah! Hoorah! That's what I'm talking about. Guys, you ever wonder what this little bad boy would do to shaving cream? 22 Magnum versus shaving cream. Let's go get us some. Are you ready? Let's go get it done. Let's get it done. Oh, -ho! now that, my friend. It did look like I got it all over me. That was that was cool right there. I wonder what a 22 Magnum would do to these outdated sun drops right here. I got any more ammo left. Ooh, that was pretty sweet. More and more, guys. That's what I'm talking about. If you were facing that, you would not want to look in the barrel of this thing and take a hit from it. So for that reason alone, you can put this gas in your pocket and you can do all kind of damage with that. I'd run if somebody was after me with one of them. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can knock another plate off anyway with this before we give up. Oh, we did it. Let's try one more. Oh, let's go. Come on. Come on, baby doll. Come on. Oh, I'm out. I told you we had more zombies. They're coming out of the woods again. Let's go do something to some of them. Guys, let's go make old Ben Laden bleed. What do you say? Come on. Oh, he's already started bleeding. Look at that. Oh. Bleed, zombie, bleed. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Hey, I do have a can of corn left over from our shoot with uh, Ola Gun and Gary Mandavan the other day. So let's see what the 22 Magnum does to it. Oh, yeah. Well, it made it jump anyway. That's what I'm talking about. I do believe it's time for a headshot. That's what do you say? Bin Laden, you're out of here. Oh, yeah. Let's try that again. Oh, that's a brain shot right there. Come on now. Let's hop, just try for an eyeball. Oh, close. Oh, yeah. We need to pump him up a little bit. Let's get us some more. Yeah, I'm really liking this guy. Oh, yeah. Saves a little on ammo if you got a, you don't have but seven rounds, but you know, that's okay. It'll get the job done. That's right. Oh, -hoo. that's what I'm talking about. Hoorah. Okay, guys, this will be our last one on, on old Ben here. Let's let her rip. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Very nice, very nice. So lightweight, can't get over that. Holes in him, guys. He ain't bleeding a whole lot right now, but I can guarantee you he will. Okay, guys, you can see the carnage left over from our 
22 Magnum chute there. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yep, it's about to lose. I'm about to lose my light here, and I'm thinking about calling it a day. What do you say? Yeah, I'm thinking about calling it a day. I think we made enough mess out here. What do you think, guys? I got shaving cream all over my boots. I got it all over my pants. And I'd say I had it in my hair, but you couldn't tell because I got white hair. But anyway, you got to see the Smith & Wesson 22 Magnum. And you got to see what my day's like after a long day at work, come home here to Hoffman Compound fighting zombies and uh, having some fun. This is what this sport's all about, guys. I really appreciate all your support, all your wonderful comments. And uh, it's overwhelming, really. I really do thank you all. And uh, if you like this video, again, please like, favor, and subscribe. And, and uh, remember one thing, Big Daddy loves you. Hoorah! Now let's go in and get some supper. How's that? Go we'll get you a Smith & Wesson. Or a Glock. Or just, hey, just have fun. That's what I'm talking about. Hasta la vista, baby. See ya. Take care, guys. Love you.